Hi babe, Action Jacqueline here with your Pilates abs. This is an amazing routine to incorporate a few times a week. So we're gonna start here on our bottoms and you're just going to pull the lower belly in towards your spine and we're gonna do some C curves. So you're gonna roll back and then roll up. Notice my hands are on my thighs to support me and it really, really pull the belly in. This is our goal right now is to get our stomachs as flat as possible. Good, now reach the arms forward and then we're gonna roll down even just a little bit further, just right around to where your bra line is and then roll up. Make sure that you're breathing as well. I like to inhale here on the way down and then exhale, pull the belly in towards the spine on the way up, good. Inhale, roll down and then we're gonna stay here and just pulse it out for 10 and nine. Good, pulse eight, seven, Six, pull the lower belly in as much as you possibly can, staying in this C curve. Good, lower belly squeezes down and in. Make sure that the stomach doesn't push out. Now let's reach the arms up overhead. Nice, reach and reach and reach. This definitely intensifies the workout here. Just a few more, reach and reach. Nice, and then roll all the way down, beautiful. And then straighten out your legs, reach the arms up overhead, slowly roll all the way up, reach over towards your toes, you come into a forward fold, pull the belly in as you slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time, good. Three more times like that, inhale and exhale, roll all the way up, reach towards your toes, fold over the legs, slowly roll down as slow as you possibly can. Nice job, two more times, really roll through. Exhaling, using the breath for power. And then I want you to roll as slowly down with control, using your muscles. Nice job, last one, roll all the way up. Good, you've got this, roll and good. Okay, now sit on up, bring the knees so that they're bent and then roll back down onto your back. We're gonna do single leg roll ups. So you're gonna roll up, reach towards your toes. So notice my arms are parallel to my leg. And then switch legs. Squeeze the inner thighs together like you're holding something in between the knees. And then slowly with control, roll down. Switch the legs, inhale, exhale, roll up towards your toes. Slowly roll down with control. Really having that full total control of your body because you have such a strong mind-body connection right now. Feeling those abs working, exhale on the way up, belly button to spine, lower down, feeling like you're moving through water, nice and slow and easy, and roll down, good. Now we're going to go into our teaser prep, hands come onto the thighs, roll yourself up to your teaser, and then roll down, nice, two more times like that. Just training yourself, walking up your legs, and roll down. This is how everyone starts. This is how I started. This is a great way to get used to rolling up, keeping those legs up and lower down. Now, if you're ready to take off your hands, let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna roll all the way up, reach towards your toes and roll down four more times. This is a challenging one, but you've got this. I know that you're getting stronger. Exhale, use that breath, slowly lower down. And if at any time you need to put your hands back on your thighs, go ahead and do that. Roll up, reach, 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 try to lengthen out your spine. This is really improving your posture as well. Exhale, use your breath and lower down. Great work. And last one, roll all the way up. You can do it, reach, 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 reach. Lower the legs down, reach up towards the sky and take a nice four fold over the legs. Breathing here, relax, letting the work go for just a moment as you let yourself just completely let go and release. And then slowly roll on up out of that. Okay, let's move into our next exercise, which is gonna be on our backs. Let's go ahead and lay down onto your back, and then you're gonna pull your knees in towards your chest. You're gonna take your hands and you're gonna press them into the floor. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades down and back, pull the knees all the way up over your forehead and slowly roll down. Good, eight times like that. And seven, slowly roll down. The most important is that descend. I want you to really control it, resist on the way down. Feel each vertebrae landing on the floor one at a time. These ones are super challenging, but they get into your lower core like crazy. That's why they're one of my most favorite moves and I put it in here for your workout because if you start to get this, you're gonna really start to feel those lower ab muscles, really, and even pull up that pelvic floor, like the Kegel muscle exercises right here. Good, pulling in and up, 
lower belly squeezes in and slowly control. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna extend the legs. We're gonna move into our hundreds right here. Reach the arms and pump, pump, pump. Because you're gonna inhale, 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 exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. Good, four inhales and four exhales. If you need to bend the knees, you can bend the knees just like this. It makes it a little bit easier. It just make sure that the knees are right over the toes. You can even place the hand behind the head like I'm showing here to modify if you need a little extra support on the neck. Otherwise, join me here with the legs out. I know this is pretty challenging. This is one of my most challenging moves. And this move right here completely changed my strength, my body, my core. It really does transform everything about your core strength. Good, keep going just like that. And reach the arms, last little challenge. Reach the arms, reach the legs, hold, 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 hold. hold and let it go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful work. I know that's a challenging one, but I know that every time you come back to this workout, you're going to get better and stronger every time. Okay, let's come onto a side plank, elbow under shoulder and lift on up and lower down. Right now my knees are stacked. This is a great modification. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, join me here with the legs straight. Good, so we're gonna lift and lower 12 times, up and lower, up, and lower good so make sure you're expanding wide across the chest elbows pointing up towards the sky my ribs are pulled in my abs are pulled in my legs are super duper straight meaning i'm even engaging my quads and i'm pressing through the feet to lift my hips up good now we're gonna take the elbow to the floor and lift four more times four and up three keep those hips up really high and two and up and one and up, good, hold it right there, hold, 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 just stack everything up, lift the hips up higher, reach the arms, reach the legs, hold, hold, and let that go, nice. Okay, let's take a quick little mermaid stretch. Oh, that feels so good. Releasing all those oblique muscles we just worked, and then now it's time to go to the other side. Same thing right here, let's do a few on our knees to prep, so lift and lower, lift and lower, and then when you're ready, extend the legs out straight, and join me here, up, and down, up, and down. Beautiful, keep going. Nice, hold here, lower the elbow down and lift the elbow up, that's five. Lower down, four, and three. Your job is to keep the hips up as high as possible to keep breathing don't forget about that breath and one and then hold stack the feet up reach the arm overhead lift the hips up high and hold this is it use that core you've got this you are so strong and then lower down let that go take our mermaid stretch here taking in the beautiful beautiful aruba ocean behind me isn't it just amazing okay let's come into a forearm plank now this is our finale Get excited. Okay, we're gonna lower the hips down and then lift them back up 10 times. Good, nine and up, eight and up. Really pull that lower belly in and up. Nice, engage the quads. Up, you've got this. Four, really push the floor away with those elbows. Three and two and one, all right, now come into a high plank pose, go right up onto those hands, and we're just gonna crawl the feet in so that the knees land under the hips, and then walk those feet back all the way to high plank. Good, just a few here. This is our finale, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna finish this all the way to the end, okay? So stick with me here, you've got this. Crawl those knees in, and then crawl those feet out, nice. Now we're gonna hold high plank, just lift up the leg, 10, and nine, you've got this. Eight, keep those arms super duper straight. Keep pushing the floor away. Feel all the fingers gripping into the mat. Lower belly squeezes in and you're breathing. You're so strong. Point the toe, lengthen out through the legs. You've got this. All right, now we're gonna come down onto our elbows. Don't come out of it yet. This is it, this is our finale. We're gonna rock forward and back, 10. And nine, this is our very last exercise here. Eight and seven. Good, try to keep as straight as possible. Six, five,
five, you are so strong. Four, keep holding. Three, and two, and one, come down. Oh, you made it. Such great work today. Take this cobra stretch, it feels so good. And then go ahead and grab around for your ankles and then lift your chest up. Take this nice stretch. Oh, just enjoy the after effects of your workout. One of my most favorite moments, right? Just relishing in all the amazing work that we did. And just know that every time you come back, you're gonna get stronger and stronger. Comment down below, let me know what you like. See you in the next video, bye. Make sure that you check in with me on Instagram.